Did you know that Belize is the only country in Central America where English is the official language? That's right, you can forget the Spanish dictionary at home. Nestled snugly on the eastern coast of Central America, Belize is a tropical gem that boasts an allure far beyond its stunning landscapes. It's a place where vibrant cultures, ancient history, and diverse ecosystems come together to create a unique tapestry that's just waiting to be explored. But there's more to this charming nation than meets the eye. Picture this. It's the early 16th century. European explorers are sailing the seas, discovering new lands, and in the process, spreading their languages and cultures far and wide. Among them are the British, who make their way to the shores of Belize. They find a land rich in resources, from the fertile soil to the verdant forests, and decide to establish a colony. Over time, their English language seeps into the fabric of the local cultures, becoming the lingua franca of this diverse land. Fast forward a few centuries to today, and you'll find that English is still the official language of Belize, making it a linguistic oddball in a region dominated by Spanish. It's like that one friend who insists on ordering a hamburger in a sushi restaurant, a little out of place but undeniably unique. So, why is this important? Well, for one, it makes Belize an incredibly accessible destination for English-speaking travelers. You won't have to spend hours poring over a Spanish dictionary trying to figure out how to ask for directions to the nearest beach. Instead, you can focus on what really matters, soaking up the sun, immersing yourself in the local culture, and creating memories that will last a lifetime. But remember, Belize is more than just a pretty face. It's a country with a rich history, a melting pot of cultures, and a wealth of natural beauty that's just begging to be explored. So if you're looking for an adventure that's a little off the beaten path, why not give Belize a try? So if you're tired of playing charades every time you travel, maybe it's time to consider Belize. Ever feel like diving into a giant blue hole? Well, Belize has you covered. Now I know what you're thinking. A blue hole? Isn't that just a fancy name for a big puddle? Oh, how wrong you are, my friend. The Great Blue Hole of Belize isn't just any hole. It's a massive underwater sinkhole off the coast of this Central American paradise. Picture diving into a mesmerizing abyss that's over 300 feet deep and about a thousand feet across. It's like Mother Nature's own Olympic-sized swimming pool but with a twist of mystery and a dash of danger. The experience of diving into the Great Blue Hole is akin to plunging into the belly of a giant marine donut. As you descend, the crystal clear water gives way to the dark blue mystery of the deep. You're surrounded by stalactites, stalagmites and a few curious sharks that might pop by to say hello. Now let's imagine for a moment that you're not the best swimmer. Perhaps you've got a bit of a belly and your swimming style could best be described as a flailing walrus. You might think that the great blue hole isn't for you, but fear not. With the right guidance and equipment, even the most buoyant of us can enjoy this underwater wonder. But let's not forget about the real stars of the show. The marine life. From multicolored angelfish to playful dolphins, the Great Blue Hole is a kaleidoscope of aquatic splendor. It's like being in the world's most vibrant aquarium, but without the glass separating you from the action. So there you have it, the ultimate swimmer's challenge. A dive into the unknown, a journey into the heart of the ocean, a real-life adventure that puts any virtual reality game to shame. The Great Blue Hole isn't just a tourist attraction, it's an experience that will leave you with memories for a lifetime. So, if you're looking for an underwater adventure that's literally deep, I guess you could say Belize is a whole lot of fun. If you thought your backyard was a jungle, wait till you see Belize's. Picture this. You're strolling through miles and miles of tropical greenery. The air is alive with the sound of distant waterfalls and the chattering of unseen creatures. You're in the heart of Belize's vast rainforest, a veritable treasure trove of biodiversity. Now you may be thinking, I've seen a squirrel or two in my time, how different can it be? Well let me tell you folks, Belize's wildlife is playing in a whole different league. You're likely to bump into some of the most exotic critters on the planet. And by bump into, I mean hopefully spot from a safe distance. How about a rendezvous with a jaguar? Don't worry, they're generally more interested in sunbathing than snacking on tourists. Then there are the howler monkeys, who, let's just say, didn't get their name from their whisper quiet demeanor. At full volume, these guys can be heard up to three miles away. Now that's a wake-up call you won't forget. Or perhaps you'd prefer a meet and greet with some of Belize's feathered residents. The national bird, the keel-billed toucan, is a sight to behold with its vibrant rainbow beak. And let's not forget the scarlet macaw, a parrot so colorful it looks like it dove headfirst into a paint pot. And for all you bug enthusiasts out there, 
Belize's insects are sure to leave you squirming with joy. From dazzling butterflies to massive rhinoceros beetles, it's a six-legged paradise. Just remember to check your boots before you put them on. You never know what might have crawled in there overnight. Belize's rainforests are a wild, wonderful adventure waiting to happen. It's a place where every leaf could conceal a rare insect, every tree might house a unique bird, and every step takes you deeper into a world that feels like it belongs in a fantasy novel. So if you're not afraid of a few bugs, Belize's rainforests are sure to leave you wild with excitement. Belize is home to more Mayan ruins than anywhere else. It's like a history book, but with more mosquitoes. Now, we all know that history can sometimes be a bit of a snooze fest, but trust me, the Mayan ruins in Belize are anything but boring. They are the ultimate time machines, whisking us back to an era when the Mayans were the undisputed rulers of the roost. Imagine strolling through the ruins of Caracol, the largest known Mayan site in Belize. It's as if you're walking through the pages of a history book, but instead of just reading about the Mayans, you're actually standing where they once stood, you're seeing what they once saw, you're breathing in the same air they once breathed, well, minus a few hundred years of pollution of course. And then there's Zunantunic, which stands tall on a hill overlooking the Mopan River. It's like the Mayan equivalent of an urban skyscraper. Just imagine what the Mayan city dwellers must have felt looking up at this imposing structure. Awe, reverence, a bit of neck strain perhaps? But don't think it's all serious history and no fun. Picture this, you're in the heart of the jungle, battling your way through the undergrowth like a true explorer. You stumble upon Lamanai, a Mayan site that's still largely hidden by the surrounding jungle. It's like finding a hidden gem, a secret treasure. And the best part? No long lines or overpriced souvenirs. And then there's the local wildlife. I'm talking about howler monkeys, toucans, and jaguars. Now I can't guarantee you'll spot a jaguar, but howler monkeys? You'll probably hear them before you see them. It's like nature's very own alarm clock but way louder and with less snooze button. So if you're a history buff who doesn't mind a little dirt, Belize's Mayan ruins are a blast from the past. Who needs a diet when you can have Belizean food? Let's dive fork first into the colorful world of Belizean cuisine, a gastronomic adventure that's sure to make your taste buds do a conga line of joy. Imagine this, you're in a bustling local market, the air thick with the symphony of sizzling fry jacks, a traditional Belizean breakfast staple. These deep-fried dough delights often stuffed with beans, cheese, or eggs, are the perfect way to kickstart your day. Tasting it is like biting into a fluffy cloud, if that cloud was deep-fried and delicious. And let's not forget the Belizean national dish, rice and beans. It may sound simple but oh boy does it pack a punch of flavor. The rice and beans are simmered together in coconut milk, giving it a creamy, rich texture. Paired with a side of tender, spicy stewed chicken, it's a meal that will make you want to write a love letter to your plate. Seafood lovers, rejoice! Belize's coastline offers a bounty of fresh fish, lobster and conch. One must-try dish is the ceviche, a tangy, refreshing mix of citrus-marinated seafood, tomatoes, onions and cilantro. It's like a beach party in your mouth, minus the sand. And for the adventurous eaters, there's jibnut, a local game meat also known as the royal rat. Don't let the name scare you off. This meat is so flavorful and tender, that it was served to Queen Elizabeth II during her visit to Belize in 1985. How's that for a royal endorsement, dessert anyone? The Belizean sweet tooth is satisfied with treats like coconut tarts, cassava pudding and the all-time favorite, the sinful and sticky sweet potato pudding. It's like a warm, comforting hug for your stomach. And to wash it all down, a glass of Belizean rum punch, a fruity, potent concoction that will make you feel like you're on vacation, even if you're just sitting on your couch at home. So. If your taste buds are up for an adventure, Belizean cuisine is sure to satisfy your cravings. Scene script. Think you're a Belize expert now? Let's put that knowledge to the test. Alright, let's not waste any time. First question, what's the national animal of Belize? Is it A, the tapir, B, the jaguar, or C, the iguana? Take a moment to ponder. Got your answer? Well, if you said A, the tapir, you're absolutely right. Known as the mountain cow in Belize, the tapir is a crucial part of the country's ecosystem. If you said the jaguar, don't feel bad. It's a common misconception, but hey, at least you're learning something new. Moving on to question number two. What's the most famous underwater attraction in Belize? Is it A, the Great Blue Hole, B, the Shark Ray Alley, or C, the Belize Barrier Reef? Mull it over. And the answer is A, the Great Blue Hole. This massive submarine sinkhole is a world-class destination for diving enthusiasts. 
If you guess the Belize Barrier Reef you're not totally wrong. The Great Blue Hole is part of this larger reef system. Let's dive into question 3. What's the national bird of Belize? A. The Toucan B. The Hummingbird or C. The Parrot Take a second. Ready? It's A. The Toucan this vibrant bird is not only the national bird but also adorns Belize's coat of arms. If you chose the parrot or the hummingbird well they're common in Belize but the toucan is the star of the show. Question 4. What's a must-try Belizean dish? A. Rice and beans. B. Fish and chips. Or C. Pizza. Think about it. And the answer is. A. Rice and beans. This staple dish, often served with stewed chicken, is a taste of Belizean comfort food. If you said pizza well Belize does have pizza but it's not quite the national signature. And for our final question, what ancient civilization called Belize home? A. The Aztecs, B. The Mayans, or C. The Incas, chew on it. And the answer is, B. The Mayans. The Mayans left behind a rich heritage in Belize, including the well-preserved ruins of Caracol and Zunan Tunic. If you said the Aztecs or Incas, don't worry, they're all part of the fascinating tapestry of Mesoamerica. But it's the Mayans who left their mark on Belize. Well, whether you ace the quiz or not, I hope you had a blast learning about Belize. Well there you have it folks, Belize in all its glory. We've taken a virtual journey through the stunning landscapes, dived into the deep blue, and even had a taste of the local cuisine. It's a small country with a big heart, ready to welcome you with open arms. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane. Remember those tantalizing dishes we talked about in scene 5? From the spicy chicken stew to the succulent lobster, Belize's cuisine is a culinary adventure that will have your taste buds dancing the salsa. And who can forget the thrilling swimmer's challenge in scene 2? The Great Blue Hole is not just a diver's dream, but a testament to nature's power and beauty. It's like a giant marine donut but, you know, without the sprinkles and the frosting. Then there's the wild side of Belize we explored in scene 3, with its lush jungles, exotic wildlife and rare species like the jaguar, this country is a paradise for nature lovers. Just remember, if you come across a jaguar, don't try to pet it. They're not quite as cuddly as your house cat. In scene 4, we step back in time to the ancient Mayan civilization. Belize's historical ruins are like a time capsule telling stories of powerful kings, grand ceremonies, and fascinating cultures. Now, before we wrap up let's take a moment to appreciate the real star of the show, the people of Belize. Warm, welcoming and with a sense of humor that can make even a coconut laugh, they are the heart and soul of this beautiful country. So if you're looking for a destination that offers an exciting blend of adventure, culture and relaxation, Belize is the place to be. It's been said that laughter is the best medicine, and in Belize, you'll have plenty of reasons to laugh and smile. So, pack your bags, grab your mosquito repellent, and get ready to have a Belize of a time.